Hello and welcome to the Wibbit.net video tutorial on common modern languages. And the people who love them. Yes, the people who love them. Uh, what we want to get across in this video is we just want to kind of go over some of the major languages that exist today that you would most likely encounter in a career in software development. That way you have uh, basic exposure of what's most often out there. Mm -hmm. So as you go from company to company or go to look for jobs, you can kind of have a heads up of what you're likely to run into. We also kind of try to mention how languages are used. So if you're given a certain type of project, you have to make the selection on, well, which language is actually best to do this? Absolutely. So well, the first language that we want to talk about is Brian and our's favorite language of all time, I would say, right? Yeah, yeah, I it's, agree. It's up there. All right, is the the C programming language. This is commonly used in anything that requires fast execution. So things like system software, uh, drivers, operating system code, graphics processing, gaming engines, multimedia encoding, like the MP3 encode, decode, mm -hmm. you know, all that kind of stuff is written in C. And pretty much any operating system that you encounter, if not entirely written, is mostly written in the C language. Yeah. So the C language is not necessarily the highest level language or the mm -hmm. Newest generation language. It's been around for quite some time. Mm -hmm. It's also arguably not necessarily the easiest to use mm -hmm. or fastest to use, but it is very quick. Absolutely. The execution time is very fast. The machine code that it produces is very efficient. Yeah. And you get to dabble, you know, even though it is considered a high level language, there are many elements of C that allow you to dabble in actual memory allocation, memory usage, like if you want to get deep, you can get so deep that your program, that you have complete control over every aspect of your program's execution. Some famous programs that are running C code that we found, or a C derivative, are uh, Microsoft Windows, mm -hmm. uh, Mac OS, the Linux kernel, one of Brian's favorite applications, Adobe Photoshop. Yep. Or and at least a lot of components of the heavier graphics processing parts of it. Right, right. And uh, MySQL. I mean, of course, these, these aren't all written in C, but some of the right. libraries that these use Absolutely. are written in C. C language. For the most part, something written in C is not something that you'll usually see. A lot of it is things that are happening in the background. Right. Like you won't see too many graphics things written in C. Right. Kind of. User interfaces. Yeah. Right. So C is an older language, but it is very alive and it's very well. Oh and yeah. It's, it's very common to be used still today. And C's best friend. <laughs> C++ is the next language. So this is better for higher level applications. C++ has uh, conveniences, some libraries that are, are nice to use. So some things like built-in support for strings. So C++, which is a descendant of C, has a lot of similarities to C in the structure and how the language looks and how you interact with it. But uh, there are some improvements, some people would argue. And its relationship to C is so close that for the most part, you can take anything written in C and you can take a C++ compiler and and you can compile it. That's true. Generally speaking, this language is used for network software, network drivers, COM software, service layers, some more of the back end stuff, some more of the lower end programs, but not quite at the system level, not quite at that base level. But you can dabble in that level. Absolutely. You know, that there also is a derivative of C++ called Visual C++, which some people may be familiar with. Yep. And that is sort of the Microsoft interpretation of C++, where they kind of redid C++ and added other components like graphics libraries and that sort of thing. Microsoft Fried Chicken. Mi Microsoft Fried Chicken, <laughs> the MFC framework, exactly. So there, there are subtle differences. If you are writing something in Visual C++, not everything written in your standard C++ will compile in Visual C++, so there is actually a difference. But it's but Microsoft, so it shouldn't really be any surprise. Yeah. <laughs> Some famous programs that were written in C++ are some of Google's backend, some of Amazon.com's backend software, Firefox, Chrome, Maya, which is a 3D animation and rendering software, mm -hmm. or KDE, uh, a sh Linux shell. C had a baby called C++, and then the C++ baby is C Sharp, I guess. That's right. Um, C Sharp is a fantastic language. It's implemented in many applications today, ranging from desktop, web, phone applications, mobile devices. It is a pure object-oriented language that offers you all of the modern features that exist today. From this, we also get a lot of great conveniences like automatic memory management, hmm. which some of you guys that have written in C and other lower level languages know that you know, manually managing memory can be quite a pain. C Sharp removes this responsibility from the software developer. And one of the reasons C Sharp became popular is as computers became faster, paying attention to memory management at that low of a level wasn't so necessary. Mm -hmm. Because the computers are so fast, you could be a horrible programmer and write very poorly managed memory. The computer will still function perfectly fast for your purposes. Mm -hmm. so there's a lot of applications, fortunately or unfortunately, that are written <laughs> that aren't very efficient. They're not necessarily written that well, and they don't need the consideration that some need. So C-sharp 
can be a good language for those too, where you need faster development turnaround time and are not as concerned with system performance. Also, the most common tool to write C-sharp programs in is Visual Studio, and Visual Studio has a lot of features like IntelliSense that bank on the advantages and disadvantages of the language. Visual Studio, which is the .NET implementation of C-sharp, is not the only place you'll see C-sharp. You also see it in Linux with the Mono Library. Very commonly used in ASP.NET web programs, web services, and also, as we were talking about, embedded Windows, mm -hmm. which is really interesting stuff. Now, even though I said just a moment ago that C Sharp is a descendant of C, you could make an argument that C Sharp is a descendant or a competitor of Java. That's true. Maybe not a descendant of Java, but a competitor because yep. it came after Java. And those of you that are familiar with Java know that the C Sharp language and Java share very, very strong similarities to how they work. Absolutely.